What up guys, if you guys are trying to buy the cheapest and most reliable MT online, make sure to go to nbamtstore.com and use the code SHIFT for 5% off your next purchase. All the other info is in the description guys, be sure to check it out. What's going on guys, it's Shiv, I'm back here with another video for you guys today. And today guys, I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel, basically just called Market Watchers, or just kind of going through the market, the auction house, kind of giving you guys tips on what I think was going on with prices, prices of just all the different cards in the market, bronze, silver, gold, emerald, sapphire, ruby, amethyst, diamonds, everyone that's on the market right now guys. I'm going to give you guys like my tips on basically on all of that, on how you guys can kind of play the market and maximize the amount of MT. Like if you guys see, I spent a lot of my MT just now. Um, which is not very not a very good thing to do, especially if you're a no money spent player. I had a lot, so I was just trying to buy some players, try some players out and stuff like that. But I'm going to go through like the different prices for like, we only got two diamond players right now, but mainly the amethyst players and what, what's going to happen with them. And then other like things with the bronze, silver and gold players, of, of course. Like up this video if you guys want to see um, more of these videos, guys. Market Watchers, episode one right here. Subscribe if you're new. We're on that road to 2000. Appreciate all the help on the channel, guys. But yeah, let's go straight into the video, guys. I'm going to go through like kind of like a market talk on the auction as I did in 2K20, guys. Something similar with that. But yeah let's get right into it all right guys let's get straight into it right away so first thing i want to go through is like all the ruby cards so ruby cards right here if you guys see the cheapest one right now i think is around like 3.5k or so so their prices have kind of like leveled out by now if you guys i think these are kind of glitched like Kyrie's not that cheap that 1800 uh yeah that's definitely not a snipe so yeah ruby cards guys Kyrie's the cheapest one right now you guys could definitely try to pick up a Kyrie. he's honestly pretty nice with his he's got pretty nice finishing and driving and all of that guys so yeah Kyrie, you could pick him up he's a nice ruby card all of the ruby cards what i'm kind of trying to trying to say is that their prices have decreased right now if you guys even go to like a little bit higher carl anthony towns is one of the cheaper ones too their prices have kind of stayed right here and i think it will continue to drop um more as we get more content next week so i'm assuming like, if you guys already saw we got this first content drop right here with the season tip off west we got some I'm, I'm playing around with some ruby cards right now let me apply a contract real quick but yeah rick smith is a really nice card bill and beer too gus williams there's some nice ruby cards we're gonna get more uh promos and all that throughout the year guys so ruby cards right now i think they should go down at least like about a thousand or so the low the cheapest one should be around two thousand by next week is my prediction guys um and then same thing with amethyst so the same thing with amethyst right now if you guys see the amethyst from uh, just not not the 20 NBA, but the ones that dropped last week, like the RJ, the Allen Houston, all of those cards, guys. Uh, the cheapest one right here, Sean Marion's like 18K. If you guys look at them, their prices are decreased a little bit, actually decreased from a normal Amethyst, like on the 20 NBA, but they're a little bit higher just between uh, when they dropped in packs on Friday and then now when they're, um, it's Sunday now, guys. So it's Sunday. So if you guys don't know, the pattern is if you guys buy a player on Friday when packs drop, for example, like this RJ, if you bought him on Friday, you sniped him on Friday or something like that. If you wait till Sunday, which is today, this is when the prices are higher. So basically everything is a little bit higher than what normally would be on the market until we get more content. So I'm assuming Tuesday is the next content drop, guys. So Tuesday, we should see more content that basically lowers the price of some of these cards, especially Derrick Rose might stay the same because Derrick Rose is like probably one of the best point cards in the game right now. So yeah, Derrick Rose might stay the same, but a lot of these cards will start to decrease back in price or as people are still opening up packs, you can try to snipe some players here and there, as you guys already know, but their prices have kind of leveled off by now. It's not going to be any lower. So if you guys are trying to pick up these cards right here and for any lower right now, that's not going to happen. RJ, Allen, Houston, who else is here? Mitch Richmond, Sean Mirren, their prices are not going to go down anymore. So yeah, until the next content drop. So wait until the next content drop if you guys are try, trying to buy anything. But today's the day to sell, guys. Today's the day to sell. If you just look at the market right now, even like the 20 NBA players. If you look at the 20 current NBA players, if you guys go to the cheapest one, their prices are way higher. It's like 30K now or so. So yeah, their prices are like 30K or so. You see right here, this KD. I got them for like 20K the day, like the day 2K dropped. I'm pretty sure I got them for like 20K. So their prices have definitely increased a little bit more. So once we see again, guys, if you guys saw on Friday, um, when those when that content dropped with this, everyone's prices were down. It could be just because it was the first day, but I'm pr it's basically, I'm pretty sure it's just because of all the content that's been coming out. So once we see new content on Tuesday or maybe even Friday, depending on whatever, whatever the content is, these kind of cards will drop if you just go to like any sort of player like Steph. He, he's going to drop a little bit. Kawhi, he's going to drop a little bit. Even Paul George, Clay Thompson, all of the different like top tier cards we got from the 20 current NBA collection, guys. So if you guys have any of those players like me, I'm going to sell them back most likely tonight later tonight or maybe tomorrow if you guys want to play with them a little bit more that's probably the best time i know a lot of people want these like better cards like i'm using steph and clay just because it makes domination and triple throw offline like way easier like i'm playing against the cpu i'm actually greening threes and stuff like that i love using this steph card same thing with his clay card them as a dynamic duo together is pretty nice guys so yeah i, I really like doing that um but yeah, other than that guys 
one more thing if you guys see right here so like here's a, for example is like a random silver card if you guys go find his price right now he's probably not even gonna be that expensive okay so he's like a little bit more than a normal like he's, a, he's a, probably like a thousand mt but most silver cards are still yeah you see one was like 900 right there if you guys go to silver right now find the cheapest one it's probably like yeah like 700 or 800 so the main thing that always happens guys is if you guys see this um for each collection reward that you guys kind of get here you get some free tokens and at this stage in the game guys tokens are so valuable because so many people are trying to go up on the token board if you guys see right here people are trying to get to diamond people are trying to get a pink diamond pretty quickly grinding triple threat online and stuff like that that's probably the best way to make tokens at this stage of the game that domination locking in sets that's literally the best way to get tokens at this stage in the game guys so if you guys these token rewards are pretty nice like especially for this stage of the game as, as i've said um, so a lot of people are trying to lock in these rewards. So if you guys got silver players, let's just say this random player right here, I would say hold off on selling them yet. Because if you guys know as a no money spend player, I always say try to sell all of your cards, try to maximize the amount of MT you get. You guys see, I basically sold most of my stuff other than some cards I'm hearing using here and there. And you know what's cheese guys going off some one more thing. I've played so much unlimited this weekend. Let's see how many, how many games I've exactly played. I played so much unlimited this weekend. I played 16 games still i've literally haven't i've been gone a championship ring i'm gonna grind it out the rest of the day but we'll see you guys but yeah don't sell any silver players yet guys silver players hold off on them because once people are trying to start locking these collections 10 tokens here 10 tokens there and if, if you guys don't know in the season agendas or is it lifetime agendas uh if you guys complete an eastern conference collection a western Con conference collection can't even speak english guys you guys get a 20 free tokens from each of them so that's 40 free tokens plus the, like 10 tokens you get um where is it plus the 10 tokens you guys get from locking in that collection so honestly if you guys find like a cheap one right here like Devonte graham he's not that expensive find a cheap one like that try to lock them in now like if you guys are trying to get those tokens i might even just lock in one collection real quick just to get that those tokens get myself some nice ruby players off that token board right now would be the best time because a lot of people once those tokens like start to become like more like see like if you guys already see this silver card is pretty pretty expensive like that's what's going to happen with basically every single collection once people are wanting tokens and everything so if you guys see a silver player that's going for like two three thousand right now sell it i would say might as well sell it but if you got someone on like the nets they got example like they got pretty good players like kd and Kyrie. so the Nets silver players will be a little bit cheaper but if you got someone who's on like for example like the magic the magic if you guys like some random silver player right here he's going to be a little bit higher than normal and he'll start to increase a little bit more too once people kind of understand that they need to lock in these tokens for all that so silver players i would expect a little bit of an increase within the next week that's my prediction guys within the next week again guys all of my talk in these videos is just like concept is what i think with based on the market you guys could trust me or not it's up to you guys but yeah same thing with the team like the knicks these silver players are going to be a little bit higher see they're pretty rare too silver players always are pretty rare not many people pull them in packs usually people are just pulling like the bronze players or like the gold player something like that um, because those are usually the cheaper ones go bronze and gold players still basically go for around 800 mt right now so if you guys are trying to sell them might as well sell them there's no point in holding them but silver players especially for like the worst teams like the Cavs, the knicks the hornets even like um the timberwolves not timberwolves got cat but still yeah like the suns even like devin booker he's not that insane obviously irl he went eight and oh in the bubble shout out to him but we already know applications are spending in 15 minutes okay 2k21 you know that never happens but yeah these silver players definitely try to do that guys try to wait for their prices to go up is definitely the move um but yeah other than that guys this it's just it's the start of my team guys this is my team right now that i'm rolling with i love this gus william card just some quick tips guys on cards that i like that i like using this rick smith's is nice bill and is a beast pg clay steph i love those three having them three right here but gus williams this guy's the flash bro this guy's the flash get this gus williams if you guys haven't already but again i'm selling i'm literally going to be selling my entire team tonight or tomorrow I'm, I'm telling you guys i'm gonna be selling my entire team securing that mt i'm gonna be back over 100k and then once i'm done with this limited guys this is my lineup for a limited right now i really just gotta get a ring i'm just trying to get a ring today that's the plan guys but yeah that's basically it for this video like up this video if you guys want to see more of these subscribe if you're new as always we're on that road to 2000 subs hope you guys really enjoyed the video um yeah that's basically it let me know if you guys got any other questions or comments about the market or if you guys want to see more in this series let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments i'm out peace